Well, a big test for the UTEP men tonight. Hosting Florida Atlantic, the top team in Conference USA's East Division. Both of these teams, the Miners and the Owls, coming into this one with a three-game winning streak. As they say, something had to give at the Don Haskins Center. UTEP honoring Jim Forbes before this game. Forbes, of course, a former minor great, an Olympian, and a coaching legend here in El Paso, laid to rest on Tuesday. And the Miners, they played inspired basketball early in this one. Sule Boom could not be stopped. Gets the floater to go right there in the lane. And then check out the ball movement here. Jamal Bienemy to Boom, Boom to Titus Verhoeven. Don't give very much. Miners were up big early, but the Owls, well, they would go on a run to take a halftime lead. This is Michael Forrest with the three. Two-point Owls lead at the half. This one would go back and forth throughout the second half. Utah found themselves down two until Verhoeven. Gonna get the deuce here to fall, doing dirty work inside. We're tied at 66 late. Then it's boom. And uh, I should say Bienemy. Bienemy coming up with the steal, turning defense into offense. Up ahead to uh, boom. Two of his 28 points on the night to give UTEP a two-point lead. But back come the Owls. This is Elijah Martin. He's going to hit the easy two. This would be tied now at 68. So here's your ball game. Tied at 68, Jamal Bienemy dribbling the ball up the floor, checks the clock. The three ball, no, but Johnny on the spot, Alfred Hollins. The play would be reviewed, and oh yeah, you bet. The tip in at the buzzer. Alfred Hollins, my man, you are the big man on campus. Miners win it 70 to 68 tonight. They have now won five straight. KTSM 9's Colin Deaver puts a bow on this one for us. In Joe Golding's first season at the helm of UTEP, he's talked a lot about the Miners needing to do the little things in order to win basketball games. For evidence that the Miners are listening to him, look no further than Thursday's win over FAU. Alfred Hollins getting a tip in at the buzzer to send the Miners into their fourth victory in a row and the Haskins Center into a delirium that it has not seen in a very long time. I've had a couple in my uh, past career. None like that, though. Uh, you know, it was much needed. Um, we've been on this good running streak. We'll keep it going. We all talked about this all week, you know, not being satisfied with three wins, trying to just keep winning, um, keeping our head down. And, um, yeah, nothing uh, that, of that uh, surreal feeling, man. It was just much needed. But I thought tonight, man, the dawn woke up a little bit, man. To see our guys have that moment and hug each other and really mean it. Like, it wasn't fake in there, man. That, that was real. Uh, and that's a lot of work of those guys, eight months of building relationships. When you have a moment like that, man, like, yeah, I was just he came running to me and I freaking run to him, man. In a couple of months when the season is over, January 27th could be looked at as a turning point of sorts for UTEP. When it all came together for the Miners, they won a big game and then kept it rolling. I feel like we're a different team, definitely. I mean, dudes, dudes stepping up each and every night, man. And it's just it's an all-out team effort, man. So I feel like we're making strides. And and we, we turn, we're definitely turning the corner. A win like that will, of course, give UTEP plenty of momentum heading into Saturday against Florida International. Now they need to level off their emotions and get ready to play what will be another very tough game against the Panthers. 7 p.m. tip off on Saturday. But for now, they'll continue celebrating their biggest win of the season. Reporting at the Don Haskins Center, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports. Colin, do appreciate it. Miners have now won four straight. You'll love to see it. The UTEP women on the road taking on FAU. Second quarter action, Katia Gallegos gets the floor to go. She had 13 points on the Knights. The Miners led by as many as seven in the second half. That was the race. Closing seconds tied at 52. Alexa Zapp hits the floater on the baseline to give the Owls a two-point lead. Last chance for UTEP trying to come up with a buzzer beater of their own. Katia Gallegos had a desperation there. Off the mark as FAU, who hadn't won a conference game all season, stuns the Miners. 54-52, the final UTEP, now 4-4 four four in conference play. They are at FIU on Saturday.